What is up, everybody? I'm bringing you guys along uh, today for a test I've been wanting to do. Now, I placed a pretty big order a, a few weeks ago um, to set this set this gym up, and I had a, a power bar coming in, which uh, that and many other items got placed on back order. You know, it was right around you know holiday time, so I'm sure they got bought up. Well, I finally got the email that it'll be here on Monday, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I purchased these plates right here, the tree, a few dumbbells from a Craigslist ad, which was a, an insane deal that I had to jump on. And um, so included with that was this barbell right here. Now this barbell, you know, it's a, you could tell it's, it's, it's not the, the best barbell. I mean, it's great for, you know, beginners, but the sticker was still in there. I don't even think you barely used it. You see right there, yep. It's made in China. And so I looked up the specs and said so that Dick's Sporting Goods, um, their, their budget bar, I think it's like 60 bucks. And um, so I looked at the stats of it and it says it has a 300 pound capacity. Now, this bar is pretty much useless to me. All my lifts are over 300. Yeah. So this, this bar is, I mean, really would just be laying around for uh, mobility purpose and just getting in the way. Now I have my nice Finley bar. I've had that for a, a little bit now and um, I'm pretty sure that bar is capable of, of running heavy deadlifts but that's a nice Finley bearing bar and I don't even think you can get Finley bars anymore since MD, MD USA w went out but um, I like to keep that to just the Olympic lifts and like I said my power bar is coming on um, uh, Monday and that's that's specifically for my squats my deadlifts. So What are we doing today today? We are gonna test out this bar. Is it truly a 300 pound capacity now? I'd like to push this as far as I can go maybe um, uh, Six plus if it can handle that far But I'm gonna bring you guys along on the journey and we're gonna put this bar to the test and uh, We'll see what this baby can do who knows, maybe this uh, Chinese bar might surprise us. Let's give it a go. Hey everyone, I forgot to mention in the first part um, that I am going to, probably when I get close to three, start running straps with this because this bar is actually, even though it has knurling on there, it's, it's not really that good. It's, it's very smooth and it's actually a lot um, thicker than your average um, Olympic bar so the the bar is thicker there really isn't the, the knurling is crap so um, I'm gonna run straps probably when we get close to, to three um, I'm starting with the gorilla plates on the inside hey, if you guys haven't heard of the gorilla plates yet they're pretty much they're the same size the 45s but they're 65 pounds I'm in love with these plates and um, you can pretty much get four of those on there which um, on each side, which would probably put you at five plus, which before four bumper plates is, you know, four or five. So now I don't have that many yet. I just have a few Gorilla plates, but um, my, my guy is gonna be hooking me up with, with some more soon. So that way I can, I can run eight uh, Gorilla plates on here. It puts me in the fives and don't have to worry about slamming any metal in the ground. But um, I'm pretty excited about these plates. So this is what we're gonna start off with. We're gonna start off uh, here and just and, and work our way up. We're at 355. So technically, we are 55 pounds over what this bar is rated for. But I think it's going to be just fine. The bar is doing pretty great. So let's see.
dead points. Best look you can So we are officially 305 pounds over with the max capacity rated for this. Um, I see a slight bend in the bar, but it's not as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. But uh, here's 605 for you. everybody so we officially went 305 pounds over uh this bar's rating i'm pretty darn impressed i don't know why they short themselves or maybe i just got lucky and ended up with a good one all right there is a slight bend in the bar i know it's probably hard to tell here on the video but i can see it and i can feel it when i pull but um i mean it, it held up held up pretty good but um i'm sure you noticed those plates tape taped on there well i ran out of room so michael i'm sure you're gonna watch this I, I need a couple more of those gorilla plates let's get them in brother but um in the meantime i've used all my metal 45s and uh have the 35s 25s on the outside i need to get more metal 45s i went by dicks today and they, they didn't have any and um so maybe i'll go try citrus park tomorrow but i need to get more metal plates as well obviously especially for deadlifts but I am out of room, but no need to fear. We will improvise, modify, adapt, overcome. I had duct tape. So look, I had duct tape some tins on there. So uh, that, that's 605, that's the second time I pulled 605. So I, I feel pretty confident that um, you know, we'll throw 20 more pounds on there and we'll be able to pull it, I hope. If not, I'll give you the video of me failing. But uh, I'm, I, I feel pretty confident. It'll probably move kind of slow, but I feel pretty confident I'll be able to pull it. But um, hopefully that duct tape holds up. Well, let's see. So after action review for this Dick Sporting Goods bar, um, I'm pretty impressed. Now the actual, you know, bar itself has a slight bend to it, but like I said, unless you're holding it, you're probably not going to see here off, off, off this camera very great. But it's very um, noticeable to, to me. Now I was like, man, well, I, you know, I had to double check. I went online. I looked. And yeah, sure enough, this is 300 pound capacity. 
But then I, you know, I looked a little closer, then I realized, oh, these collars. I'm sure, you know, cheap, probably uh, two-piece design collars with some cheap bushings in it. They don't move anymore. It's gonna be tough for me to hold this phone and try to, but, yep, oh, there we go. I gotta force it to move. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I, uh, I crushed those cheap bushings in there. So, uh, first impressions, like, man, I can't believe it lasts, but now I see both, both collars. Uh, I believe those, you know, bushings or whatever is in there, they're busted. So this bar definitely is gonna be just uh, sticking to the side, collecting dust, maybe a mobility bar here and there, or uh, maybe I'll invite my buddy, Jason Tall, he's a deadlift monster. Maybe I'll invite him over here to deadlift with me and um, see if he can break it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I'd break it today. But uh, no, that didn't happen. It, it held up much better than I thought it was going to hold up. Well, that was fun. Hit a new PR on the deadlift. That was cool. My 20 pounds. So I'm excited. You guys have a great night. Peace. What's up, everybody? Check this out. I can never really grow a real man's beard only when I'm in the bathtub. I love coming in here in the bathtub right after a heavy... Um, deadlifts or heavy squats i think it aids in uh, my recovery so i'm not too sore the next day but anyways i forgot to plug somebody my, my buddy michael over at buy bumpers go to facebook go on facebook and find buy bumpers he comes here locally he he sells the bumper plates crazy cheap cheaper than you're going to get anywhere and if you're interested in those gorilla plates those 65 pounders he's the guy to get them from so again check out buy bumpers have a good night.